Please welcome Heather Mitchell and Candace Cole of Narrative 4. Hi, my name is Heather Mitchell. My name is Candace Cole. I'm a businesswoman and an activist, but most importantly, I'm a mother. When my son was just six months old, my husband, George Mitchell, left home to become the architect of the Irish peace process. For three years, on and off, while I was at home mothering our son, George was in Belfast struggling to create a peace until the people of Ireland signed the Good Friday Agreement. I know how many years Ireland has been at peace because I know the age of my son. I attended a high school outside of Chicago where I was one of only a handful of African-American students. In the 10th grade, when it was time to discuss slavery and the Civil War in our history class, my teacher asked me if I'd prefer to sit in the teacher's lounge, just in case I felt uncomfortable. I declined. I didn't want to run away. I wanted to be in that room, and I wanted to be part of the conversation about the ghosts of America's past. Andrew is now 20 years old, and in our home, we call it Andrew's Peace, in honor of the 63 children who were born in Northern Ireland on the day of his birth. 63 children plus one, and their mothers, and the peace and hope for their futures. I am the proud descendant of an African-American slave, and I'm here to honor the legacy of my ancestors. I am a living, breathing, honest part of the conversation. And today, I try and instill that same sense of pride in my amazing two-year-old daughter, Inara, as she begins to learn to navigate the world around her. Between the then and the now, there exists a forever. So Candace and I gave you a small sliver of what we do at Narrative 4. Our core method our core methodology is called the story exchange. And as you can see, it's all about fostering empathy by encouraging people to understand what it means to be one another. And in a minute, we're going to ask you to participate in a similar exchange. So Narrative 4 is a global organization. We were co-founded by artists and activists, and now we're led by educators and students. Our mission is really simple. It is to harness the power of that story exchange and really empower young adults to change their lives, their communities, and ultimately the world. We are working all over the world, and we're in Ireland, South Africa, Mexico, and all over the United States. At this very moment, our staff is working on a year-long pilot project in uh, the fields involving 10 students from the Fieldston School in Riverdale in the Bronx, and 10 students from Swain County High School in North Carolina. The students, their educators, and our staff are gathered in Western Carolina this week to work on bridging significant divides, such as historical, political, racial, and socioeconomic ones. They are finding ways to talk about issues such as immigration, identity, violence, environment, and faith. They're not necessarily trying to change each other's minds. Rather, they're learning how to actively listen to find similarities, but to also respect their differences. Here's a photo, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. It was taken, this photo was taken of them last night, and we think it's packed with hope. Uh, you're looking at our future leaders, especially the females. <laughs> They, each and every one of them, have been working this week to learn how to step outside of their comfort zones. And now we're going to ask you to do something along these very lines. All right, so you are going to join us for an object exchange. And so this is going to be slightly different than what me and Heather did, but still really fun. So we ask you to participate. So I want you to think of an object that you have on you whether it's in your purse or your pocket, it can be anything. It might be your summit program, it might be a piece of jewelry, it might be something in your cell phone, maybe it's a Snapchat, like something that has a story. And I want you to take that out right now. 
You heard our stories first. So, for example, the, the we'll give you a second. The we'll object second. I showed Candace is a picture of my three-month-old son, and I have a necklace that my mother gave me that I hope to pass down to my daughter. So I see everyone finding their object that has a story. Don't tell the story yet. I know you're ready, but almost. <laughs> We're going to give you a second. <laughs> So now you're going to find a partner, preferably someone who you do not know, who's sitting next to you, in front of you, you know, behind you. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to share the story of your object with your partner, which you're already starting to do. And then when we say switch, you'll tell the story of your object. Well, so go for it. <laughs> If you haven't done so already, you can switch. All right, if you can hear me, clap once. If you can hear me, clap twice. If you can hear me, clap three times. If you can hear me, clap once. If you can hear me, clap twice. If you can hear me, clap three times. If you can hear me, clap once. If you can hear me, touch your head. If you can hear me touch your shoulders. <laughs> I'm a former second grade teacher. I live to do this with adults. <laughs> We're, one more time. Go ahead. We're at, We're at, we're at the end of our short time here. <laughs> we would love to have you continue talking on and on and on, and we hope that you will take this and uh, continue the conversations and the exchanges at lunch. But unfortunately, we are at the end of our short time here. We want to thank you for taking part in this small exchange, this small piece of narrative four. And we want you to take these stories to lunch, so we want you to step outside your comfort zone. So when you go to lunch, find someone else you don't know and tell them the story of your partner's object. Because really, in the end, this is about acknowledging that each and every human has a story that matters, and we want to make sure that we appreciate all these stories that we have in the room today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> And please, please check us out at narrative4.com to learn more about what we do. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.